Hey! <laughs> Look at your chinny chin chin! Hi! Hey! What's up? That's a good boy. The times that he has been groomed, they didn't say that he acted like this at all. My name is Dee Dee Croy. Every pet deserves a groom. I'm here to get the job done and give your pet that opportunity. We want to go low, um, clean up our, his ears, shape him to the actual shape of his ears, so more like a shih tzu ear. Um, and I want his tail um, not so shorten. Shorten, yeah. <laughs> so, so shorten the tail. Yeah, shorten the tail. Um, and now let me just say this, depending on how the dog behaves, we may or may not do uh, perfect stuff around what you're wanting. That's you'll right. see, you'll be like, yeah. I would stop right there too. You'll yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, we, the rooms that we've been going to, um, as a puppy, he never liked the clippers around his face, so they normally use scissors. Okay, so they normally don't use the clippers around the face. Yeah, they use scissors around his face. Okay. Um, body, he's fine with. He's. I have been told that he's fine with getting his nails trimmed. Okay. Um, only thing that I've ever heard is that he flattens out like a pancake. Okay. Wait, well, you're on the wall, so you're worried, worried, like really worried. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. Can I put this on you? What is that? What is this here? Come here. Come here. Hi. Come here. Hi. Hi. It's okay. Come here. That's the leash. Come here. Hi. Come here. Come here. Come close. Hi. Hi. Come here. Why are you so nervous? Why are you so nervous? I'm not even doing anything. Come here, come here. Let's be friends. Come here. Ah! Oh. Hi. Hi. Is it, are you worried about that? You're so silly. You, what, what, are they going to save you over there? Mm -hmm. Hi. Well, I really want to get you on the table, but I'm going to take my time here. Hi, come here, come here. Come, come closer. Am I pushing it? Oh, not yet, not yet. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Aww. Hi, Hayes. Hi, Hayes. Hi, Hayes. You're worried. Your paws up. My dogs do that too when they're nervous. So the backstory with Hayes. His pet parent was sitting in the parking lot of the big box store, at least one of them, crying not knowing what to do. And her partner texted her my name and number. She literally walked out of the big box store, started crying, got in the car, didn't know what to do because her dog has never been told to her act like this. She made the decision to pull her dog back out of that place because the dog immediately on walk-in started nipping the groomer's face nipping at the groomer's face, nipping around, nipping, nipping, nipping. And it was very scary for the dog and the groomer. They hadn't yet said, we can't help you, but the pet parent said it was probably a matter of minutes. If they went to the back, they were probably gonna just walk back up to the front. She made the call to say, you know what? This is probably not what I'm gonna do. She hadn't heard from all the other places she took him to groom that he had that same behavior and it's been a minute because they're new to Texas. They just got here from Oregon. You just never know what might have been the problem. But now he's a different dog for grooming. So she's in the parking lot calling me. And I remember picking up the phone call that day, not able to help her because I was too busy doing nail trims, but telling her that I was hope for her and her dog. And here we are. Nervous? Hi. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're nervous. Mm -hmm. Oh, come here. Kind of? Hi, look at that pretty, look at that pretty face you have. 
Look at the pretty face. He has such a pretty face. Yes, you do. He has such a pretty face. Hi. Hi. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. Are you wagging your tail at all yet? Hi. Hi. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Like, do we have to hang out for an hour before we can get started? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Where's mom? Mm -hmm. Where's mom? What's mom doing out there? Mm -hmm. What's mom doing? Hello. Hi, pretty dog. Hi, pretty dog. Hi, pretty dog. About this thing, right? This were you? Mm hmm? No, it's too loose. That thing's so small, isn't it? I know, you're looking at me like that. I hardly ever use the extra small, but looky here, sure did the job today.
because he we've never heard him behaving like this at all I'm reading everything about this dog right now. she can I've never seen him being groomed before so this is new to me and I've never the times that he has been groomed they didn't say that he acted like this at all so yeah he I don't know if it's due to it's been a while since he's been groomed or what but we need to get him used to being groomed what I'm doing. I am totally tricking you right now. I 
And personally, this is not going to last two months. This will be about a month, maybe four, four weeks. So I'm going to take down to the four, four guard. Real flat, long and flat and straight. So brush it up and get that length to go through your guard. Because right now I had to buy some trust from him. Going well, between a seven blade and a ten blade to do some things faster.
took a few minutes to figure out but I realized that maybe if I use two clippers at the same time, I could get away with doing a really fast, efficient groom without making him too much more upset. It worked out really well. What do you think? Why is there two clippers on? These over here wasting electricity. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? I did that on purpose. I don't know about you but when a dog acts like this i've just got to turn around and tell somebody who was there doing something something don't you ever touch my dog's nails ever ever never never ever don't, don't you ever touch my dog's nails and make him act like this never if you make a dog's nails bleed you need to quit oh i see it oh i see it oh i see I see. I see what it is. I see. I know. I know. I know it. I know it. I know it. Yeah. I know. Hayes. I know, Hayes. 
You have to be a little, you know, like, hey, we gotta get this done. But you're still like, okay, it's okay. It's okay, but we gotta keep going. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hug, hug, hug. <laughs> I don't know if he just doesn't like it, but we bonded for just a minute and then he said, yeah, I'm done. with customer service but me and you me and you we're not arguing I get you I understand you and I know what you've been through and I'm here for you but me and customer service man I'll argue all day long but me and you no we're not gonna argue not today when he showed those signs of aggression and we knew I, I, I did, we both knew like we got to find someone who can handle a, a, dogs who are aggressive and have high anxiety and but this is new. This is very new for us because he, we've never heard him behaving like this at all. No, I'm not gonna argue. See, no pain. No pain. Okay, no pain. Hmm? See what you got to fight in here. This last part here, right? Hmm? this time that the aggressive dog is burping in my face and I have to wonder a little bit if they just got real comfortable
Let me see. Look up. Look up. This would be good to have. His face is so dark, he can't hardly see all that stuff I just got out just to pull it off of his eyes. Ew! I'll show you that, Mom. Couldn't even tell, but it was all there, right? You're gonna open all this wet hair right there. Oh yeah, all that in your mouth. I'm gonna take it off right now. Yes, I am. Little rub rub there. Yeah, little rub rub. Rub rub. Can I have you look up? Look up. Look up. Oh, sorry. Hmm? Hold on. Let me see. Very good. Very good.
he's being bathed right now, so as soon as he's done with that, and David, for some reason, has this no care attitude, and so he doesn't come across as um, where I might be more, whoa, 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 I know I might be working with something. David's like, who cares, you know, like, <laughs> and so there's an energy there that w whenever he's walking around this dog, did you ever see the Sammy Davis grooms? No. Extremely aggressive. And here comes David with him on the shoulder. Like, I'm like, what? The this dog will bite your ear off. Like he, the first groom I ever groomed with Sammy Davis with the pet parent, it was, this, it was a veterinarian referral saying okay. we can't help you no more. Yeah. Um, but they were at the vet, that vet for years. So it wasn't like the vet couldn't help him with medical care. They just could not groom him at all. And they found me because I know the veterinarian. And the first groom we did together, Sammy Davis, his name is Sammy Davis. And he, Sammy Davis bit the pet owner 13, 14 times. Like, and I'm not talking like warnings. They were literally blood bites. And so that's how aggressive he was. And here comes David with that sucker on his shoulder. Like, I was like, what the, what are you, no muzzle, no cone head, no nothing. Anyway, so your baby's being bathed right now. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Yeah, Thank we'll you. See you next we month. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. You and I are never going to know what happened, where it started. You know, by golly, he's only one year. He's just shy of one year old. Like, what? All the things that could have happened in his little baby life. Who knows? I talked to the pet parents. You know, they've never been able to see him being groomed. They would always drop off. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying we're never going to know. In all the cases that I have, when a dog is extremely aggressive, will bite, whatever you want to call it, nipping at the groomer's face, that's some serious stuff. And that is super harmful to any human being, a child or an adult. I didn't know what we were going to expect here. There's a couple things I always am going to do. I always use a cone head and sometimes I'll get the muzzle on. I'm always gonna refer back to that cone head because safety should come first. But in the line of work that I chose to groom aggressive dogs, giving them the opportunity for a haircut, right? For one year old, he's gonna have to have a haircut his entire life. And if he's lucky enough to live to 15 years old, 16, 17 years old, you're not gonna put safety first and protect yourself and the dog yeah, I know, I know. You're asking, how am I protecting the dog? Well, when a dog bites a human, authorities get involved, whether you, the owner, or the groomer like it. And if you're in a city, state, county that requires that dog to be put down, well, it gets put down. So if I'm going to try my best to not get bit by any aggressive dog that comes in, my best hope for that dog to get the haircut done is a cone head or a muzzle. I didn't know what to expect. The phone call literally said, he's biting and nipping at, trying to nip the groomer's face. And if someone called you and told you that, would you even accept them in for a grooming? Oh yeah, send them all my way, okay? Send them all down here to Texas so I can help them. But I feel like we had an amazing, successful groom. There was a minute where there was a lot of stuff going on and I must say, I had to sit back and do something I've never done in my career. Analyze and run a second clipper. 
because I felt like something about that clipper running needed to be running while I tried to get him to understand. If I don't cause pain with that sound running, maybe then we would get somewhere. And we did. He really came around. If I could get a really good close up of his face, he literally almost started falling asleep while I was trimming his eyebrows, his bangs, around his chin. Oh my gosh. I hope that I get to groom him until his end days come. Because if I do, then I know he'll always receive this kind of service. I'm so glad you're watching and thanks a lot for being here. I had a blast grooming this dog. You never know what to expect. Guards up. We got it done. Now who's coming in next?